Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I'm going to show you how to do this lovely green sort of iridescent look. So if you want to know how to recreate it, then just keep watching. Thank you. So as you can see, I've started this eye. I've not quite finished yet, um, but I thought I would show you how I got to this stage. So firstly, I've already concealed my eyes using NYX HD concealer, and then I've just set it in place with the translucent powder. I'm then going to take NYX's Tropical Green Eye Pencil and just run this across the eyelid. Now this will act as a base and um, it will mean that the pigment will stick on a lot better in the eyeshadow. So the green shadow we use will just be more vibrant. Now when you're applying a coloured base, you don't want to take it up as high as what your eyeshadow will be because when you blend it out that will naturally take it higher anyway. So I'm going to take this to just below the crease and all the way around the eye. This step is better to do one eye at a time because um, it does set in place. Right, so once you have something messy like that, you just want to take a pencil brush and just start to blend out the edges. Any soft fluffy brush will do this well. There you go, so you can see it's a little bit smoother now. It's still not perfect, but it's okay because we're going to blend over the top with another eyeshadow. Now the green I'm going to use is this matte green here and it's called Willow. And um, it's in the On The Horizon palette by Sleek. I'm going to take that on a flat eyeshadow brush and just press that over the top of this base. Now I've not applied my foundation yet because um, I know that these products have a little bit of fallout. We're going to do this all the way around the eye as well. Everywhere where that pencil was. Next I'm going to take Beach which is just like a matte pale taupey colour. Now I'm going to apply this colour just slightly over the edges of the green, just to help soften it and blend it into my skin colour. So this colour is slightly more grey than my skin, but only like a fraction. But as you can see, this is quite a lot of fallout too, and it's falling onto the lid, but we can um, get rid of that in a second. Right, so to get rid of that fallout, we'll just pat over the top with the same brush that we applied the colour with. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take laser from the BH Cosmetics Black Light Palette, um, which looks like this. It's basically got a nice green shift to it. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Now I want this inner corner to be quite dramatic. At the moment it will look ridiculous until my foundation's done, but I'm going to take it quite far along under the eye and quite far up in here. Next up, I'm going to do my winged eyeliner off camera. For that, I'm using Vivid Brights, which is a liquid eyeliner from NYX. Um, it's in Vivid Violet. And it's going to end up looking something like that. For my foundation, I'm going to use Vici's Derma Blend. I'm going to draw lines on my face. And that's the makeup look complete. <laughs> it's really not, right. <laughs> Little bit longer to go so I'm just going to press that into the skin. This is a very full coverage foundation but it doesn't come in many shades at all just to warn you. Now I'm going to set all of that in place with my Bare Minerals setting powder. I'm going to use the matte side to start with and then some of the more shimmery side on the tops of my cheeks. Now for my brows I'm going to take NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. First I'm going to just brush through them and then I'll fill them in lightly. So there you go, you can see it just adds a bit more definition to the eye. So I'll just do the other one and I'll be right back. So I've just done my brows and I did my mascara as well. And for that, as always, I used H&M's High and Mighty. Now I'm about to apply some like cluster lashes. I'll show you. Um, so they're individual lashes, but they're in either sets of two or sets of three. So I'm going to apply one set of three on the outside of each eye and then a set of two in short a bit further in. So I'm going to take my lash, apply the glue for that I'm using Duo in black. I'll wait about 20 seconds for it to get tacky and then I'll slot it into the outside corner of my eye. Now I do have individual lashes on at the moment, but they're getting quite sparse. Um, the person that did them uh, did a fantastic job. I really love them, but um, they're just getting to the stage where there are some gaps. So I feel like this would fill that in quite well. Right, so I've just done the lashes. Now I'm going to contour using Sleek's contouring powder. Just going to take that lightly under my cheeks to add a bit more definition. Now for highlighter, shall I be bold and use the green again? Um, if 
I go lightly and then I can always add more if I want or sort of alter the colour. I'm first going to take strobe though which is the white one and just do that down the centre of the nose just lightly it's very intense on the cupid's bow it's like straight up white silver um, and then we take laser the green colour do that on the tops of our cheeks Now to blend that out a little bit better, I'm just going to take the translucent powder I was using earlier and just go around the edges of it. Then for lips, I'm going to keep it neutral and I'm going to use my favorite lip liner from Topshop. It's called the Lip Contour Pencil. So there we go guys, that's the makeup look complete. I hope you found the tutorial helpful and um, I hope it gave you some sort of inspiration. I really like green and purple, so I like the fact that I paired it up with the purple liner. But you could obviously switch that around for a different colour or a black liner, um, and that'd be absolutely fine. So, um, yeah, thanks again for watching. And if you like my style of videos, then please subscribe to my channel because it really makes a huge difference. It means that my videos can reach more people. So, thank you once again, and I will see you soon. Take care, bye bye.